Just start making your circles a bit smaller, like maybe 15 metre circles. Yeah. And don't be afraid to get cross to them. If you feel like he's not working properly, you can use that inside hand, use the inside leg. That's it. <laughs> track on the other side, give yourself a little bit of room. Think about keeping your body quite straight and just little now right leg nudges. Keep his head reasonably straight, little bit of right flexion if you need to, little bit of right leg and just hold it and sit there, that's it, down the next long side. That's it, little bit of right flexion, right leg, that's it, and back across the diagonal onto your canter again, don't let him tug the contact away from you. That's it. And then left side rein, a little bit of weight back into trot and back onto a trot circle. That's it. And then when you're ready, trot to canter. Trot to canter, do some canter trot transitions on the circle. Right, bring him back, just do it again, it's fine. If it helps, just sit for like five or six strides. And also, he grabs the contact from you, so you just need to hold him a little bit in the contact, that's all. That's it. So keep that, come round the circle, and then perhaps at X, sit, don't let him run off with you and sit back almost and then use some outside leg it's better just need to use a little bit more of your hands into the counter transition and exactly the same your downwards transition you kind of think of bringing your weight back and almost squeezing your knees yeah, that's it good yeah It's better, you're just giving him too much freedom in front. That's better. Well, you've not counted him before, so just give yourself more chance. Just think about staying very upright, very proud. And when you sit, just try to think about sinking your legs down. Yeah, that's all it is. Just with the outside rein, just need to be slightly more secure. He needs to come up into the counter into your outside rein. It's a good shot though. Yeah, it is. So all he did there is he's just, he does do it sometimes as well and it takes quite a lot of uh, coordination to keep him on the bridle, keep the counter transition better, that's fine. Do another one. So all it is is you, you're just learning to ride him, that's all. You keep the inside hand quite free but the outside hand has to be there. Good.
good. Okay, now I'm bringing it back to walk. Think about just taking deep breath, roll your shoulders back, keep your rein contact quite secure, outside leg canter. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, so you've just got a little bit more time to organise yourself from the walk. So exactly the same, just bring him down to the trot and then back to canter and back to walk and just do exactly the same from walk. Better, that's good. Good, okay, so now down the next long side, yeah. stretch him out, keep the contact, keep your body upright, but just both legs forward, push him forward into a more medium canter and then use your seat mainly for a smaller canter. That's it. Sit and absorb. That's it. Again. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, circle. And then change the rein. That's it. Good. And then a little bit of counter, counter, and then trot in the corner. Immediately, you need him into your outside rein. So just work the inside rein a little bit on the circle. That's it. That's it. Okay, when you're ready, you're going to walk. Exactly the same counter transitions. Even if you have to spend five minutes on the circle in the walk, making sure you're ready for the counter transition. So you need to be in your outside rein and you need to hold that rein there, especially because this is his worst rein. That's it. Good, bring him back, do it again. He needs to come up on the bringing your body weight right into his bum, nestle your bum right into the saddle and make that outside leg, right, ugh, outside leg very obvious, very clear because he has to come up into the counter transition. That's a bit better, it's a bit gung-ho but it's better that at least he moved off. So now all he needs to do is redo it but with slightly more rain contact. It just takes a lot more riding.